You know what that means. What's well, good? It's your Barico. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Duel. And you guys knew this video was coming because this deck right here, the deck that Tarvel taught us, the square deck, is the deck that got me the highest I've ever gotten until we got uh, Absol. Once Absol came out, I broke 3.9, and then after we got the Aerodactyl, and then when we got the H slash, I was able to break 4K. But prior to that, this was the deck. This was the one that shot me, and I was like, yo, maybe we can get into top 100 of this deck. Maybe we can break 4K with this deck. This is my very, like the very first deck that I actually fell in love with. So we're gonna go over the square deck. Um, we do have, it looks like three boosters with a lock booster, a purple and a gold, and then we'll jump into four matches. Charger bug. Charger bug, Bill, what did you just release, my friend? Looks like we gotta go watch a video from Bill. Professional Bill. And let's go with the gold. Dude, I don't even know if booster openings are even that fun. I, I mean, I, ha I still have like a hundred picks, I think. I don't know. I haven't even gone over. I have every figure. I don't know. Uh, but maybe we'll pull an EX out of these. So we'll see. Oh, and actually, we just got the 5K points. So we just got the O. Look at that. Mega Swamper. We got arms because his arms are just huge. These arms. Mega arms. Um, but we just got 5k, so that means we did get the 100 or the complete form of the Zygarde. So maybe the next video we'll mess around with complete form Zygarde and just see what it can do. Because I have no idea, like, don't you have to have two mods in your PC and you have to have the 10%? Like, that's how you evolve it. But I don't even remember what it can do. So we'll have to dive into that probably next video. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump in. Okay, so this first match, we did go through some renditions of this deck. Now, I think primary, the deck that I used, the square deck that I used, we definitely used um, Dio Speed. We had DOS because the Zoro, and then Zoro got nerfed. So now we can't really use uh, Dio Speed. I mean, there's no, I mean, like, it, it just dies. There, there's no reason to really have it. So instead, we brought in our trusty Mew. Mew is going to allow us to apply pressure. And it's going to allow us to take the entry point because of the air balloon. So take a look at... Oh, yeah. I, I named myself not Tarvold. So if any guys played in played me, not Tarvold. Because I'm not Tarvold. But we're going up against K... Or K... Yeah, KCK. And they got a good old-fashioned dragon deck. Like, I actually put together the dragon deck. I was going to run in with the dragon deck. But I was like, nah, we got to hit squared first. Now, how squared typically ran... You usually... Like, if you went first, you usually put the, uh, the Nebby here. The problem is... Um, we, know, we now have a lot of figures that are going to be able to rush me hard, even if I don't, do go first. Um, and But the reason we had the speed, that's why we were able to bring on the Neb. We brought the Neb right here, and if something came on this side, we can just bring the Zoro, or not the Zoro, but the Dio speed right there, just to cover goal right away. And then we could still rush with Neb. But essentially, Neb the one who's going to apply pressure up right here that's going to make the opponent have to cover goal. If they don't cover goal, they stay right here. We're just going to DC land right here. And we're going to go for the teleport. So we're playing a dragon deck with the Dawn Wings and the Poipo. So let's see what happens. I remember this a couple days ago. Uh, okay, so I see that he's going to do that. I was like, bro, if you're giving me the opportunity to win, we're definitely going to do this. And he attacks me. I was like, we get the shuttle flip. So of course I'm going to air balloon. We have great odds of hitting our purple to KO you or just a shuttle flip to get the win. So KCK does not see it coming. I don't advise to do what my man did here, but we attack and he gets the dodge. He gets the, I was like, wow, okay. So he gets the dodge and he hops over. We don't have air balloons, so we can't win. So we're gonna obviously going to threaten the game. He's got to cover up goal. So now we can rush up with the Nebby. Actually, I really don't remember how this match ends, but because he brought on the Poipo, we have to cover goal here. I, that was a huge misplay. Well, actually it was the misplay because my opponent does not have the air balloon. I don't believe. Yeah, he doesn't have the, Bro, why, what the? My man's got Twisted Spoon? Why? For Don? What? Bro, I didn't even realize that. But that would have been a detrimental play right there if the opponent had the air balloon because then he could have air ballooned over my Nabby and attacked and could have cheesed me with the Ultra Portation, but he does not have, for some reason, got Twisted Spoon. Anyway, so what I'm doing here, we're going to set up the, the entry points. We have three entry points locked down, okay? And I see that he has a shiny ray. 
So what I'm doing is I'm baiting him to come down because I put my Lele here. Any Mon that's two steps away, their golds turn into a white. So I remember this match now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to keep moving around my Nebby because I'm baiting for my man, the Shiny Ray, to come down so we can cheese him. So he's going to Dragon Sphere here. I was like, oh, yes, this is perfect. He doesn't you know. He does not know if it's totally going to happen. But then he moves that ray. I was like, oh, okay. That was actually a misplay right there, too, actually. Moving the Nebby there? We shouldn't have moved the Nebby there. We should have moved our uh, Lunala because he could have brought the Rayquaza over right here and attacked into the the Nebby. That was bad. I didn't even realize it. That. that was a bad play on my end. But uh, he brings on the other Altaria I back. And again, he can still do it. But now he falls for the bait. He brings up the shiny ray. And I'm like, bro, baited DC here. Going for the squared. Three entry points are locked. Gold turns into white. The extreme speed. The squared attack. The three stars. Let's go. GG boys. Ah, dude, the square, the square cheese was so fun. So there was there was two primary there was two ways. To, well, actually, there was like three ways to win. I never actually got the third way. It was either the squared. It was either the Nebby teleport. But there was one. I'll show you. I've never won. I've had an opportunity twice but couldn't pull off the win. So let's jump into the second match. All right, I think in this match is the other time where we could have pulled off the win where we haven't been able to pull it off. Let's see. Yes, okay, so it was this match. Take a look at this deck. My man got the full respin decks with the hair across, all chain 10, level 10, put everything into the pin missile. So everything is going to be hitting a maximum of like four, 200 damage. So... Things are looking pretty bad for me, but you know your boy Rico's obviously going to try and find a way to win. So we're going to start with Nebby here, see what he's going to do. Now this is something that I love to do here. I loved baiting opponents to have this setup right here. They would have gold, and then what we would do is we would put our Lele right here, two steps away, and this way the Greninja's Water Shrieking is going to be a white. So let's see if my opponent... Uh, figures that out. So now we bring on the Lele. This is good. And then he brings on the other Heracross. I was like, bro, we got him. GG, boys. This is the second way we win. So we're going to DC here, and we're going to go straight after the Heracross. And the only reason why we're going after the Heracross is because it has a less has less of a blue than the uh, Greninja, but we don't get it. We don't get it. We do get the Nebby's power. Now here is the, 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 the third way of winning that I said I've never been able to win. So opponent's going to X-Speed here. They're going to go after my Lunala, the great, the, the correct play to make here. We're going to pull the switch here with our Zoro. I was like, Zoro, give it to me. Come on, Zoro. Give me that cross counter. But we don't. We get the night days very unfortunate. So this is how we could have had game. This is the way that I've tried twice. This was actually the third time. It's never been successful. Um, if Zoro was to somehow survive there, right, what we would do is we would air balloon with our Cosmo, we would attack right here on the ent on the entry point. We would attack into the Greninja. The Greninja's gold is going to be in white. We would try to get the teleport to get the surround, and we would get the full evolution off of the uh, Lunala. But it didn't happen. And even it, but I mean, if we won the roll with um, Zoro, it would have been game. But if we would have hit the dodge, or is it protect? No, it's dodge, right? Yeah. So if we would have hit the dodge, I would have air ballooned and would try to get it there. Like I said, it's happened three times. Haven't been able to pull it off. RNG just wasn't in my favor. So, but if what's really important is we did hit the night day. So this man has a large, large miss. And I mean, I do have really, really small slices of attack damage. We have the splash, it's 15 slices. So I was like, you know what? We're obviously gonna do this for the team. So I'm gonna DC here. I'm like, bro, come on, Cosmo EM. Can we please get the splash? Please, let's go. And huge miss, and we land the splash. I was like. No way. We get the full evolution. The only problem is the opponent has so many X speeds. So what we have to do is we have to hope they hit their damage, but it only hits once because they only have one Heracross on the board. So he's going to X speed here with the Heracross. I'm like, just white on white damage. Only hit one spin. Please, let's go home. GG, boys. And we get the Will-O-Wisp. And he does hit the spin once. He hits the spin once. But we get the Will-O-Wisp. But it's not over yet. We're going to bring up the Mew, and we're like, we're still going to go for the win. He doesn't even see it coming. I'm like, bro, air balloon. Now, I realize if we don't get this, we're going to get surrounded. But I was like, come on, dude. If we had, like, three opportunities to win, this is, like, number four. I think it's a heavy hurl. And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, bro, but this deck that you have, I don't know. And then he's going to pull the evolution here, the mega evolution with the, the 
the desired Y. And I realize at this point, the only options I have here is attack. There, there actually is no options. I have no gold block. Well, actually, the only option here is we have to get our, um, our whatever the purple is. Once we got that, then he would move up to Greninja. No, yeah, there was nothing we could have done there. So good games to my opponent. We had like four chances to win there. Unfortunately, RNG just wasn't in our favor, but we it was still there. But all right, let's jump into the second, third match. All right, so this match, the first match, we got the squared attack. Second match, we got the impossible win that we haven't done yet. And this third match is we have to get the teleport win. So take a look at my opponent. He is rocking the Aegis Lash, so this is going to be a problem. We're going to rush up with Nebby. He brings it up here. And what I wanted to do here, this is this was the plan, okay? This was the plan. I knew what was going to happen. I wanted to long throw here, and I wanted to survive. Like I wanted to survive. So I probably shouldn't have switched there. That, that was that was definitely a misplay. Um, but what I wanted to do was I wanted to long throw the Lele so this gold would be gone. And then I would move the um, the Nebby here, and then he'd probably attack into... Eh, nah, yeah, see, that was bad plays. What I wanted to happen was have Lele here. I wanted him to attack. I wanted to survive. Then I would move my Cosmonk here. He would probably just attack in sh um, um, sword form, my Nebby. But for some reason, if we did get the dodge, then I was going to hop over DC, go for the teleport. Because we haven't got the teleport cheese yet. So that's why I did that. So, I mean, we're already starting off to a bad start. But I'm going to rush up with the Mew. Mew is the second, you know, win condition here. So my opponent doesn't see it. And I realized he does have the fracture. But I was like, we got to go with it. got to go for it, man. And we don't get it. So now we're going to lose Mew to the fracture. But it's not over yet. Now we're going to move up the Nebby to see what my opponent can do. And he falls for the bait. I was like, no way. He fell for it. So he's going for the entry point. Now all we got to do is move over. We have to attack into the fracture. Now let's get that teleport cheese. Bang. Let's go. GG, boys. All right. Let's jump into. Oh, damn, that was three matches. All right. Let's jump into the last and final match, which I don't even remember how I won. All right. This match, I think it was like a longer match. That's probably why I took it or kept it. Let me think here. Let me see. Uh, look at this map. Oh, yeah, I remember. We go against this man. He's got two metallic dawn wings. I still don't have metallic dawn wing. He's got the uh, the Abra we have to watch out for. I mean, not necessarily. We can just have um, Lunala as our goalie. But all right, let's see. He's going to be defensive here with his Mew. I'm going to rush up with my Mew. And he's going to put his fracture there. Very good play. I like that. But now we're just going to bring up the Nebby so we can try to get the entry point here. I see this thing coming on. I don't want him attacking me. So I'm like, all right, let's bring our Lunala on. My man's just attacking me. I guess because he can out damage me with his hypersonic. But now we're going to make this gold go away. I should have attacked there. I should have attacked there to try to get the teleport. So I make... Okay, I know what I was going to do here. I made a crucial mistake. Here. Let me let me, let me me tell you about the thought process that was going on here. Fracture. Totally forgot about Fracture's ability, all right? My goal here was I wanted to air balloon with the Mew. Once I air ballooned with the Mew, I was going to attack... And what I wanted to do was I wanted to remove Donwing's ability. I wanted to get the um, the shuttle flip, and I would move close to the entry point, and then the opponent would be forced to gold block. All right. But if I did not hit the shuttle flip, I was like, this is actually good if we don't hit the shuttle flip, because what's going to happen is then the fracture is going to come back, and the fracture is going to surround my Mew. Then, because my Lele is next to this Mew, I can hop over with the Cosmo or the Nebby, and attack Mew and go for the Teleport Cheese. That was my thought process. But after I played the Air Balloon, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Fracture's ability. So we're out here making misplays. I'm like, this is bad. This is not good. Uh, so he's going to attack here. He's going to attack my Gothitelle. I'm like, Gothitelle needs to survive here. But he does Moon Geist me. I feel a little salty here. So now we need to figure out a way to win. Now we need to figure out a way, a way to win. So I'm going to max revive. We're going to max revive our uh, Gothitelle. We're going to bring him closer to there, Donald. And we're going to switch out here because number one gold attacker in the game. Let's go. Of course, we're going to bring back the number one gold attacker in the game. Get rid of this Donald. Let's get out of here. And now we have basically almost two entry points taken. Photon Geyser gets rid of my ability. Good thing we don't, I don't think we have an ability. Yeah, gets rid of my ability. Um, why did I do that? Oh my god, he attacks again. <laughs> Let's go, God the Tell. Get this out of here. He gets the miss. Now I take the entry. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me see. Okay. 
Yeah, we're trying to. Okay, I remember why I only moved up one space. I only moved up one space there because I was I wanted to bait my opponent to like not feel threatened to take the entry point because my Z gauge was building and I wanted to get the psychic Z move there. But because they did take the entry point, I was like, okay, we can take this entry point and then I can DC and go into the Abra. I mean, I know the odds are not that great, but you guys know when an opportunity arises, you have to go for it. So. We have an entry point, they attack here, I'm like, survive, we survive, now I'm going to back off with my Zoro, and we have two entry points, and I'm like, oh, one more survive, one more survive, let's go. Now we have to do it. If opportunity arises, you have to go for it, so we're going to DC here, I'm like, come on, got the tell, and I was actually baiting for him to pull the Zoro switch, but he lands the teleport, my opponent's smart, and I was like, oh, damn, okay, so that doesn't work. He opts over, gets rid of my, uh, my, uh, Mew, but we're going to attack into here, and I'm trying to get the teleport. I need to get this thing out of the way. So he's going to hurdle jump here. But we still have three entry points. So now I'm going to switch here. Oh, yeah, I saw it. I'm, now I'm going to switch here. I'm like, dude, I don't know why you did that. There's no point in doing that. You're going to pull the sense. You can evolve. But now what we're going to do is we're going to DC on your fracture. We're going to go for that square cheese, my man. Oh, that's where I forgot. This deck did have um, the, the switch. So we're going after the fracture. He hits the guillotine, I'm like, oh no, oh no, the odds are not the greatest, but we have this video, we have this match, of course I'm going to get it, and we get another square cheese, let's go, GG boys, dude, I love that deck, I love, like, it's so gratifying, it's a, such a gratifying feeling when you hit the square cheese, but when you don't hit the squared, it's like, ugh demoralizing but all right we're gonna cut the video there i don't know what deck oh yeah we're probably gonna take a break from like the old school decks and we're gonna dive into the uh 100 form and just or the complete form and just kind of see what that thing can do but until then ladies and gentlemen as always peace